How do attitudes form? Everyone develops attitudes about themselves, other people, the places they go, the objects they see, and the ideas they encounter. This process is immediate and automatic, and as you know, sometimes occurs without our awareness. There are two camps when it comes to the origin of attitudes. There's some evidence that attitudes are inherited. Some twin studies and extended family studies suggest that we differ in our attitudes in part because of our genetics. For example, identical twins tend to have more similar attitudes than fraternal twins. These results suggest that we may be disposed to hold certain attitudes as a result of inborn physical, sensory, and cognitive skills, temperament, and personality. Of course, there's plenty of research to support the notion that attitudes are learned from our environments. It occurs when we're exposed to attitudes objects and learn the attitudes of our in-groups. It also occurs through conditioning. We tend to adopt attitudes that will be rewarded and avoid those that will be punished. This may not always be the case, but it's probable. Both of these factors are very much influenced by one's culture. The immediate environment, too, makes a difference. For example, sometimes we form an attitude toward a neutral stimulus simply because it has been repeatedly associated with another attitude object that we evaluate positively or negatively. This is called evaluative conditioning. Advertisers take advantage of this process by pairing their products and services, which may at first invoke indifferent attitudes with people, places, objects, or ideas that the audience likes or favors. They might pair beauty products with models, vehicles with celebrities, or politicians wrapping themselves in the U.S. flag. Over time, the audience begins to associate the products, vehicles, and politicians with positivity.